Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading a Monster High story called Ghoul Power. This is part of a beginning reader's book. The story was adapted by Perdita Finn, by Gina Gold, and illustrated by Jesse Sharon. These stories are based on the screenplay by Dana Starfield and Shane, Shane Amsterdam. These are cute stories. Draculaura was a friendly vampire, but she didn't have any friends. She didn't know any other ghouls. She turned into a bat to fly with her dad. She saw a billboard for Tosh, her favorite singer. Would Draculaura ever go to a Normie concert? Draculaura had a vlog, but no one was listening except Webby, her pet spider. Ding dong! It was the doorbell. A ghoul had followed them home. Her name was Frankie Stein. She wanted a friend, too. The ghouls got to know each other. Favorite song? asked Frankie. Draculaura smiled. Flawless, Tasha's new hit single. Draculaura and Frankie wanted to do normal things. They even wanted to go to school. Hey, that was a great idea. What about a school for monsters? The ghouls searched for other monsters. Claudine Wolf was their first new friend. Claudine was a clawsome werewolf. She wanted to come to Monster High. Back at home, Frankie told Draculaura about the monster web. Mind blown, said Draculaura. Now, ghouls all over the world could learn about Monster High from Draculaura's vlog. The monsters are coming, exclaimed Claudine. The next friend the ghouls made was Cleo Denial. It's been a thousand years since I had friends, Cleo told the ghouls. She couldn't wait to go to Monster High. Soon after, they made friends with Laguna Blue. Oi, mates! Laguna Blue surfed to shore. The ghouls had a creeperific time together in art class. Skelly was a fun model. The monsters learned about the human world from Dracula. Frankie wanted Draculaura to run for school president. How about we run together as a team, said Draculaura. A vote for Frankie and Draculaura is a vote for monsters everywhere. Claudine and Cleo had a message. We have a report of a monster off the grid. Her name is Monica Decay. Poor Monica, said Draculaura. Think how excited she'll be when we show up. The ghouls were going to rescue her. Monica ruled over a graveyard. She had an army of zomboys who did whatever she wanted. 
She didn't want to be rescued. Oh. The Zomboys attacked the ghouls. They were just coming to be friends. Draculaura turned into a bat. Claudine turned into a wolf. The ghouls fought back. They were a team. Monica was defeated. But not for long. Now she wanted to take over Monster High. I'm going to run for school president, she declared. A vote for Frankie and Drac is a vote for kindness, said Draculaura. But Monica wanted to prove that humans were frightened of monsters. Monica dared Draculaura to invite Tosh to Monster High. Draculaura went to find Tosh, but Tosh seemed scared of Draculaura. Draculaura was disappointed. Maybe monsters and humans weren't meant to live together. But Draculaura's friends had good news. She and Frankie were elected co-presidents. The monsters believed in her, not Monica. Now it was time to celebrate with a monster party. The ghouls wore creeptastic outfits. Then Monica showed up. She brought someone with her. It was Tosh. Let me go, you monsters, cried the singer. There she is. Monica wanted to turn Tosh into a zombie, but she couldn't because Tosh was really a ghost. Tosh was a monster too. She would sing for Monster High. Draculaura's dreams were coming true. None of the ghouls would ever be lonely again. They had one another. They couldn't wait for their next adventure at Monster High. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.